What's up, with me fam? If you ever wondered what it would be like if Harry Potter and the Hobbit entered the universe of Power Rangers, well, today is going to be a good one because we are talking everything about, well, not everything, but we are going to talk all about one of my favorite Power Rangers, Mystic Force. But before we get going, <clears throat> you know how we do this. We gotta go ahead and hit our theme music. So let's do it. got that started let's go ahead and talk about some of the characters i'm gonna go ahead and start with um xander um i don't know why but he <laughs> always has this one catchphrase that always gets me specifically hey xander yeah Plan Xander never seems to work regardless. Like, it never works. But he will use it a million times. But I admire his confidence tremendously because he will keep going regardless of who gives a damn. Now Xander is not the most dedicated student out of Mystic Force, but his confidence to keep going makes up for all of that. Like when Daggeron gave him a task and he's like, yeah, I'm... he's just BSing me today. But then he realized like, oh, this is, he's actually trying to give me something. And then he learns from that. Yeah, that's a great motivation. So that's what I love about Xander. And then we have uh, Chip, <laughs> who's another one of my favorites, who every day is like a costume party because he just lives to in his head. Yeah, he just lives in his head. But I think that's why his friends love him so much because he's just such a really fun dude. And another thing I love him because he is there for his friends. Like when Necroli took over Vita and he was willing to go through he went through all the trouble of creating the Dawn Crystal in order to destroy Necroli, but then he was able to save her. Well, destroy Necroli without killing Vita. That's the type of dude I love about. Uh, I almost said something else. That's the kind of dude I love about. Chip is that he's dedicated even though he's 
silly as heck. But moving on to uh, <coughs> Madison, who is like the brains of everybody else. Despite the fact she's kind of to herself and yeah she's very like to herself kind of like hides behind a camera and then it realizes like okay she expresses herself through her films like everybody has their own way of expressing themselves in a different way but she shows herself through her films and the way she's kind of like the like mother of the group even though I guess you would kind of say she's like the ace of the whole of the group like and she overcame her fear of frogs by freeing Daggeron from the spell that he's been in for years. So it's like a two for one thing with that. But moving on to uh, one of the most fun loving characters which is Vita Roku who is a DJ and also Madison's older sister. I don't know if they ever proclaimed that in the series as far as like who's older or not, but yeah, she's Maddie's sister. Uh, just overall fun loving DJ, full of energy, loves her friends just willing to go all out and thing I love about Vita is she is willing to go the extra mile to be like hey maybe this is not right like I remember this one episode where this I think it was one of the ten terrors Matumbo like she said I think there's something bright about him like he's not like the others so. you're not like the others are you oh like, you're not like the others like you know one of these things not like the others and then he was destroyed and then somehow they brought him back in the end <laughs> I don't know but that's uh that's Vita. And so we're moving on to uh, Nick, who is probably has the most storyline out of this entire franchise. Who comes to Briarwood because he basically to live with his sister for a short time, but ends up discovering his long lost parents because he was because this great battle that happened God knows how long ago when he was a child and he was brought to the well let's put it this way he was brought to the Udana and Liambo are his parents and he was brought to the human world as a baby and was kept there ever since I'll put it like that and ultimately end up destroying the master of evil in the end <coughs> and reuniting with his parents overall so it's ultimately became a full circle thing with Nick 
So that's what that was. Um, but before I wrap it up, I want to move on to a few more things. Uh, Claire, who has probably the second longest character development as far as Mystic Force goes, develops her powers and is also Udana's apprentice. She probably has the best storyline outside of the Rangers overall. Clumps over her spells, gets nothing right, and ultimately gets what she wants in the end is to become full sorceress and learns that her mentor and I'm not sure how this wasn't explained, but how did you not know your mentor was your aunt is a really good question. <laughs> that was weird to me. Uh, and Dagger, who is also the actor who plays Kruger, overall just amazing like everything he did beginning to end outstanding and then as far as Udana Udana only morphs like maybe four times out of this entire thing which is bogus like, she morphs maybe two times in the beginning and then doesn't morph again till the very end and that's all we get but overall mystic force is a great mixture of what will happen if you get harry potter game of thrones the hobbit pretty much every like wizard fantasy that you can think of is in this show the only thing is it's powering that's basically what I can say about that but if you like what you've seen uh, feel free to leave a like and comment below but this is gonna do it for me um, I am the one and only MB Music Man and this has been another great edition of Fiction Universe. And as always, stay safe, be blessed, and let your imagination run wild. Do you believe in magic? To use magic, all you need to do is believe in magic. I believe in magic!